Hello and welcome to an auction for what I think will be a cracking vehicle. As you can see it's the Peugeot Boxer Auto Sleeper Talisman. It's on the P Reg. It came in to us as a part exchange against a newer Motorhome that we had up for sale. We was going to tidy it up but to be, to be fair we haven't got the time, we've got that much on that we're just going to sell it the way it is. It's not brand new as you can expect it's on a P what is it a 96 so you know you can't expect it to be brand new and while it's been standing in our yard some nice person relieved us of the rear window which I'll show you right now there we have got one propped in it at the minute but uh, just try and keep a bit of weather out and backed it against the wall but uh, they took that out and uh, buggered off with it but there you go um, as you can see there's a slight Wrapped to the rear bumper there, some of nothing, a little bit of filler and spray it back in, you wouldn't even know it was there. I'm pointing you out all the worst bits of the auto sleeper and then you can bid on it knowing that. You're welcome to come down at any time throughout the auction and take it for a drive. Drive spot on to be fair. Um, it's covered 108,000 miles, which is simply nothing on a Peugeot diesel engine. Uh, it's the two litre diesel, the fantastic on diesel. Um, I'll just walk around it again and then we'll fire it up and let you it run. But what I want to do is try and get you to have a look at it and try and get you the feel of the thing before you start bidding on it. Anybody knows us or knows myself, all my listings I do this way. I put at least 70 pictures of everything I advertise and the full video with a commentary on it. If it's got rust, if it's got damp, if it's got an oil, if it's got damage, I will tell you so and you bid and buy accordingly. Um, auto sleeper, you just don't have to mention the name at all because they're known throughout the world as being the best motorhome on the road bar none. Simple as that. And this is the monocoque one and uh, being the fiberglass they don't leak simple as that they're a lot better they don't rust so it does need a few little bits i'll point them out to your inside as you can see the back window there i have pointed out as one and the little crack on the rear bumper that's on the outside but uh, we'll start up now for you and you can hear it run i will lift the bonnet and uh, I'll have a look under there. Now it ran out of MOT at the end of August so it's just really basically but out of MOT just over a month. We're not MOT in it, we're selling it the way that it is. I can't see, I've been round it today and I can't see why it wouldn't just fly through an MOT. It's got good tyres all the way around, it's not rotten underneath. All the lights and everything work on it, window wipers, washers, everything works just the way that it should be. I can't see why it wouldn't pass an MOT at all. But we're selling to it, it to you the way it is. Now you can see the little engine runs over very, very smoothly there. We haven't pressure washed it off and tried to disguise anything under there. You're seeing it original and just the way that you should, should be able to see it, to be truthful. Um, I don't like to go to a vehicle and it's had all the engine pressure washed. It means there's a problem to me. On the inside, hasn't got the power windows, it's just got wind windows. It's got the radio cassette. Uh, this seat swivels around. The driver's one doesn't, I believe, does it? No, no, the driver's one doesn't. The passenger's one does. Both captains with the armrest. It's got power steering. Now I'll take you on the inside of it and let you have a look in there. We'll point out the little bits that needs doing inside. I'll open the door, let you have a look at that first. What it does need, uh, before we go any further, is a damn good cleaning. Because it hasn't been cleaned for a while. The gentleman that owned it was a doctor. It's still in his name on the logbook. A Dr. Griffiths, Graham, or something to that effect. Um, he used it for holidays to Spain, France, all over Europe, he told me. And he... Uh, He'd had it quite a while, he wanted to do something a little bit newer and he came and he bought, uh, we had a 58 reg one up for sale and we, we back it in with that. Now, 
as you can see it makes two single beds it's got two dinettes that make into two single beds or one large double bed either way so it is a two berth the four berths of course they have this section here they have it boarded in it's not hard to do actually if you wanted to do it and they make a bed over there for the kids but this one's got cupboards all the way around for more storage they are there is a, actually a set of curtains in there one of our lassies did take them down and give them a wash she was gonna go for it but i told them not to do because it was getting uh, so just the way it is As you can see on the bunks, they do need a good clean. They're not ripped a ton though. There's a little bit of wear on them, but you get away with them for 12 months. And if you wanted to recover them after that, it's up to yourselves. I've opened each and every cupboard. I've taken videos of each and every cupboard. I've taken photographs of every nook and cranny in, in the uh, auto sleeper. You've got the large wardrobe. Of course, carver eating system simply the best oh that's one of the things the catch is broke on the wardrobe it doesn't stay shut that's not a big deal um, there's a couple of knobs missing I've noticed there's one there on that door um, there's one on that cupboard I'm sure there's another one somewhere no must be mistaken so there's there's two knobs missing so don't suppose that's a great big deal is it but uh, they still work I can still open them for you then we're into the toilet I'll lift the table out so you can see it's not hiding anything the shower base apart from needing a bit of a wash is in excellent condition no cracks holes or anything in there fit for cassette toilet of course space saver sink as in all the auto sleepers like i said anybody that's looking at this will know exactly what they're looking at this trade books in glasses guide are over seven thousand pound that's trade it retails at eleven and a half thousand pound eleven and a half grand that's what it retails at so you know a little bit of effort tidy it up give it a clean and you have a very very cheap home here fridge freeway fridge of course stoves oven and grill and then you've got the four burner hob and there sink and drainer as you'll see the tap is missing they're like a little piece of copper spout on these they only screw off the two nuts there and you replace it easy enough that snapped so that needs replacing little silly jobs but something that's anybody that's half handy is nothing i mean the major thing probably is the window but if you if if you couldn't find one for a while you could put a piece of perspex in there and you you wouldn't know the difference to be fair um, I'll show you the rest of it while I'm here now we take we took the gentleman at his word he was a doctor so you believe them don't you um, he told us that everything works the way that it should do we haven't tried and tested anything we've plugged it in and we switched the lights on they worked but we haven't gone through it we haven't gas tested it pressure tested it or any of that so we're not guaranteeing any of that um, we know the heater works because that was on when he fetched it in it was uh, it was still warm because he was waiting for us he put the heater on and he showed us it work and it worked fine um, that's not much more I can tell you it's there it is what it is you can see exactly what it is anybody that's looking at it knows what this thing's worth we're not stupid here we know what it's worth we're not going to give it away so don't really